A teenager is dead after getting shot earlier this morning, just minutes after leaving a birthday party. It happened at the Avenue's apartment complex off Bay Meadows Road. News for Jack's reporter Aaron Farrar talks to us about how some people are reacting to the shooting. Crime scene tape surrounds the parking lot where a teenager was found shot dead. The Jacksonville Sheriff's Office says it happened a little before 3.30 this morning at the Avenue's apartment complex off Bay Meadows Road after a birthday party. Police say a 16-year-old was shot a few minutes after leaving that birthday party at one of the apartments. Matthew Stefanik has been living in this complex for six months now. Tony Pham lives not too far away. This scene surprised them this morning. It just makes me upset. I mean, you know, the Nashville shooting that just happened, it just makes me feel a certain kind of way. You know, it's like, why is this always happening? But it definitely makes me feel kind of weird. Um, just didn't really expect it in this area. Police say a few people at the party heard the gunshots, came outside to see what was happening, and found the teenager dead in the parking lot. That's when they caught police. Fam and Stefanik called this concerning. It literally can be anybody, you know? It, I can't say, like, oh, go out and live your life with fear knowing that someone might shoot you down, but you know what I'm saying? It's like, just be safe. It definitely doesn't make me really scared. Um, I do think that we need to do a better uh, better job of cracking down on crime in Jacksonville. No one has been arrested at the time of this report. Police are determining if they need to look for more than one shooter, if the teenager was targeted, and why this happened. Police are asking you if you were at that birthday party earlier this morning, if you saw or heard anything that could help out in this investigation that would ultimately lead to an arrest, you're asked to give police a call as soon as you can. Reporting, I'm Aaron Farrar, Channel 4, The Local Station.